in, in an unfair manner. It's just a very fraught, emotional case, and so it remains to be seen how he's going to rule. Yeah, he has been pretty fair. I think, I think a yeah. lot of folks have said that up to this point. Turning to the classified documents hearing here, as we look at what, what Judge Eileen Cannon has been saying in court, she yeah. had been questioning Trump's lawyers, asking if their argument was perhaps premature, if it was something that really should have been dealt with later, you right. know, maybe in, in trial. I wonder what you thought of the question she was asking his I, lawyers well, today. I, the questions are fine. I don't know if that's the way she's leaning, but the questions are exactly the right questions to be asking because the, Trump's team is seeming to argue two things. Number one, the law is vague on classified documents cases, and that's nonsense. D dozens, hundreds, thousands of people have been charged under the same statute. Now, look, they're not presidents of the United States, but there's nothing vague about the notion of retention of do sensitive documents as a criminal offense, and so that's fine. Then the question of were these the former president's personal records, that is a a factual question to be decided at trial and the president's team is more than uh, open to try to make that case in front of a jury but that's not a legal question it's it's they're just a determination arguing it is why isn't it but because they're wrong I, I mean they can argue whatever they want the simple fact is there's a determination to be made about what these documents were and you can't wave a magic wand and say that simply because I was president every single document in my possession were my personal documents he's free to make that argument at trial but as a means of making the the, the entire indictment go away. That's just simply not the right way to go, I think. Either way, this delays the process, right? So